Morning, it is nine o'clock on your Sunday. I'm Gina here with Matthew Lindsay. Thanks for starting your morning with us here on 13 Sunrise. And it's a busy Sunday. Colts kicking off in what? Four hours here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> here at home. Kicking off against the Chicago Bears. Colts are going to get that win, turn things around. Yep. And uh, despite the rain, Lindsay, I think it's going to be a good one. You know, it's really a win win. Uh, the Colts win and we get rain because while that will put a little bit of a damper on some outdoor tailgates, we certainly could use the rain. I think a lot of folks are very excited looking at their brown uh, crispy lawns <laughs> and looking at the rain that's coming in on live Doppler 13 radar. So let's start there. In fact, we have some pretty uh, steady rain already across the far western tier of the state. We'll put this into motion over the past 45 minutes or so. Noticing that we're actually seeing a bit of a gust front kind of coming off of some rain cooled air. You might notice Danville over the next couple minutes, a brisk wind coming in, followed by some cooler air. Also some uh, wind gusts to go along with this rain that's now moving into portions of Benton County now over into Vermilion County, northern portions of Park County as well. No lightning being uh, reported within this uh, heavier pocket of rain that's over near Danville, Illinois, but all of this working in our direction. This is all along a cold front that will continue to move from west to east today. So while we're just looking at the leading edge moving in now, we've got a lot more rainfall back to our west that will impact us over the next few hours. So rain becoming likely as we get you into the mid morning and then eventually rain will continue becoming more widespread this afternoon. We're holding steady near the 70 degree mark here in the Indy Metro. It is 73 in Shelbyville and 72 down in Bloomington. Next several hours take us into the upper 70s. A very cool change compared to yesterday's high of 94. And as far as that rain timeline goes between now and about just after 11, notice this wall of rain that will continue to push into the metro. More widespread shower activity by 2 o'clock and then spotty storms will continue from 5 o'clock through about 10 p.m. as this actual boundary moves through. This is wave one of the rain. We've got another round expected to move in by Tuesday morning. We'll talk more about how much rain we can get out of these two systems coming up in the full forecast. All right, we'll see you then, Lindsay. New this morning, NDOT is confirming one person is dead after a semi crash and fire on I-465. Here's a look at the scene around 7 o'clock this morning. Once we knew this crash had started, here's the scene now. You can see the fire is out of that semi as multiple fire crews are still on scene and multiple lanes are closed at this hour. This morning we're still working to learn more details from Indiana State Police on what exactly led up to this crash. Of course, we'll update you as soon as we learn more. Also new this morning, three people are recovering after a shooting on the city's near northeast side late last night. So the good news, all three are expected to be OK. Police found a man shot just after 11 o'clock last night. This is near 23rd and Arsenal Avenue. A little bit after that, a woman arrived at a nearby hospital who was also shot and officers found a third victim at a different location. They believe all three people were shot during some sort of gathering here here at the Arsenal Avenue location. They are still investigating what kind of gathering this was and what led up to this shooting. Our officers got here and as you can imagine, it's summertime, folks having a gathering, not sure to what extent, not sure of the ages of the, the, the uh, people that were um, attending the gathering, but that's yet to be uh, determined. Investigators are speaking with hope or hoping to speak with witnesses. I know that some folks did stay here on scene. Um, however, we have to slow things down, get search warrants, etc. Investigators detained one person of interest related to the shooting. So far, there are no official arrests. A motorcyclist is dead after a hit and run on Indy's northwest side late last night. It happened around 815 just south of Michigan and Kessler Boulevard. First responders pronounced the driver of the motorcycle dead at the scene. Police are still searching for the driver this morning of that other vehicle. We spoke with advocates this week who want people to realize the importance of taking responsibility in these situations. Driving is a privilege and, you know, there are a lot of responsibilities that come with it. Um, and one of those is if you get into um, a crash, you need to stop and do what's right. Um, you know, those first few minutes could be the difference between life and death for someone that is hit. 
<coughs> excuse me. This comes just three days after a pedestrian was killed on the southwest side during a hit and run. AES customers who don't pay their bills will start seeing late fees and disconnection notices beginning in November. This comes after penalties were halted for nearly a year while the company revamped its customer systems. You'll remember that caused a lot of billing problems. So a spokesperson tells us their systems are back to normal, but some customers say their bills still aren't adding up. Now, there is an extension. You have up to 12 months to be able to, to, fight or to pay these bills. We have this full story and what you can do if you have a higher than normal bill on WTHR.com. The design of Indigo's Blue Line Rapid Transit project is now complete, and some of the highlights include almost 10 miles of new or replaced sidewalks. It also includes 30 station platforms, 46 miles of resurfaced roads, and 63 new or upgraded traffic signals. Indigo expects construction to start early next year, with the Blue Line expected to open in 2027. Well, thousands gathered in Carmel's Midtown Plaza yesterday for the Mooncake Festival. The Mooncake Festival, I said that was weird. This is a celebration of Chinese culture with performances, a parade, and of course, Chinese mooncakes. We caught up with local students who were part of these performances, and they say events like this are pretty special. Being at this festival is like really part of like connecting with our culture and being in America. And getting to enjoy like Chinese culture and the festivals that come with it. Diversity is really fun and learning about other cultures are really fun. Like I know there's a group from a high school like two hours away and they came to support us. Yeah, from their Chinese club. So this was the festival's 13th year in Carmel. The first year had around 300 visitors. As you can tell, a lot more than that showed up uh, yesterday. More than 3,000 attended. Wow, that's awesome. Well, Art Squared was back for its 11th year down in Fountain Square this weekend. This year's theme paid homage to the You Are Beautiful installation in the neighborhood. It also featured the personality of the historic district. Visitors could support more than 150 local artists and vendors. I bought this for my dad because he loved wrestling. Duh. Okay. Um, I got free tickets to the Heartland Film Festival. It's, it's very lively too. Like I've keep hearing live music over there. A little bit of everything for anyone. And if you missed yesterday's event, don't worry, you can still get a taste. The top 10 pieces from the Masterpiece in the Day contest will be on display at the Murphy Arts Center on October 4th. Well, it is Sunday. That means it's game day. Today, the Indianapolis Colts are back here at home hosting another team. Oh, all the Colts fans are up early. I bet yeah. they're already downtown. Boys in blue looking to gain some momentum as they host the Bears at Lucas Oil Stadium. We know team captain and defensive tackle DeForest Buckner now out for at least four weeks with an ankle injury. So we caught up with fellow captain and linebacker Zaire Franklin, who is stepping up to lead the team. And he has a message for his fellow Colts heading into this game after starting the season with two losses. Do your job. Let's let's lock in. Let's get back to the fundamentals. Let's get back to the basics, um, and let's get back to who we know who we are. There's no panic. There's no stress. We're not pressing it, um, but at the same time, there is an urgency, and I think you need that urgency. And adversity is going to affect you at any point in the season. I think I just came a little. Early. Kickoff against the Bears is at Lucas Oil this afternoon at one o'clock. Yeah, that's they right. Got to do their jobs. You heard him. That's right. Simple and easy. Let's get it done. Well, we are just a few hours away, four hours in fact, from kickoff. And fans are already getting the tailgate started. Who's surprised? Anna Chalker live with the Blue Crew right outside Lucas Oil Stadium. Anna, good morning. Hey there, Matthew and Gita. It is a great morning out here at Touchdown Town. It's a great time out here. I mean, look at all of these people out here this morning already bright and early. They told us they were here the sun, before the sun was even up. We were, so good for them. But hey, we've got drinks, we have food, we have cornhole, you name it. It is a great morning out here, and the energy is really electric right now. I mean, we have some bumping music right now. We're having a lot of fun. We've been hanging out with fans this morning, and you know, they're really hoping for that win today. It hasn't ended how we've wanted it to so far. 
but they're hoping today is the day for that win. And hey, we'll be checking in with them. I'll be honest, I see some Bears fans coming in. So hey, Colts fans, get on out here. We got to outnumber these Bears fans today. But we'll be hanging out with them. We'll check out throughout the rest of the morning. But a great morning out here with perfect weather. All right, go have fun out there, Anna. <laughs> hey, get those Boo. Bears fans Boo out Bears. of the shot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>